Well, on a, on a classical level, music, I mean by the seven liberal, liberal arts kind of level, uh, music has always been, been uh, a way to understand um, harmony. And I, I don't mean just musical harmony, I mean harmony of anything. The idea of taking things, disparate things, and bringing them into right relationship with one another on a metaphorical level, like a good business deal, or a good marriage, or a good, uh, you know, that, that kind of thing. And bringing disparate things together is, is what harmony is all about, because that's, in, in music, you know, the, the pitches that are, are consonant with one another are in, in mathematical ratio with one another. So there's a kind of varying pitches brought together in the proper res relationship sounds good to your ears. Um, to be able to get that, I think that it, that that sort of thing is built into the to the uh, uh, the cosmos, the creation is, is something that you learn from music. Whether you're actually become you become a musician or not, um, that's really important. But then I think on a on a theological level, I think it's important for Christians to understand music because music has um, in bringing things together like that music is uh, an example in the physical world of something that is transcendent of the physical world. And so music becomes, the beauty of music actually becomes a kind of metaphor for a lot of other things. The harmony of the Trinity, for example. The harmony or the relationship between Christ and the Church. Uh, the harmony of the hypostatic union. Um, any of that. It can can be it, music becomes a means by which you can grasp something of these transcendent, completely other kinds of uh, theological ideas. Uh, Jeremy Begbie has a great example of how the, a triad actually uh, is a better way to understand three and oneness at the same time than uh, to hear it anyway is better than to see to try and make sense of three objects is difficult but to hear three pitches at the same time. Uh, and here only one chord is possible, see? So there's there's a, a kind of insight even into the Trinity. But I think too that, I think Christians have to realize that um, uh, music is not just a means to get the, the, the content of the scripture across in worship, for example. Well, it is, but it's on, a, on another level. That is, it's not just a, it's not just a vehicle in which you put uh, a scripture to convey it so that it's easily memorable, which is pretty popular these days. Uh, but it, it itself is an interpretive device. That is, um, it's um, it's like the like the the pastor uh, taking a, a part of a bit of scripture and interpreting it for us from the pulpit. You know, in the sermon, uh, a piece of music does the same thing. It actually takes what it is and it and it sets it in a way so that you can see the contours of it and the profundity of it. And we need to remember uh, that composing music and performing music uh, in the church is a key as aspect of what it means to be a worshiper. Uh, we worship in music. The Psalms are all about worshiping in song. Um, there are all sorts of songs throughout the Bible. It goes on and on and on. 